Yo, yo, what's up everybody? Scott Lennox here from Fishing OC and Hooked On OC. Welcome to the channel. Uh, if it's your first time here, thank you very much for checking out the videos. We got some tutorials and things like that. And starting today, we're gonna be bringing you guys a bunch of fishing from Ocean City, Maryland and other places that we travel to. Um, we Don't forget to check out our show, Hooked On OC. We've got a channel here on YouTube. It's Unseen Pro, U-N-S-C-E-N-E -E Pro. It's YouTube, Unseen Pro. All the episodes of Hooked On OC are on that channel all along with a whole bunch of other stuff that has to do with Ocean City. Today, man, exciting day, exciting day for me. The boat just went in the water, very first day in the water. That's always an exciting day for me in the spring. And I hear there's some rockfish at the Route 50 bridge, the Route 90 bridge, and the Verrazano bridge. I'm up in Ocean Pines, so my closest shot is the Route 90 bridge. So I'm gonna take some thingamajigs, run up here to the Route 90 bridge and see what's up. Um, hopefully catch a couple of rockfish, show you all how I do it. All right, let's get it. All right, I'm sitting up here at the Route 90 bridge and I'm gonna be casting for rockfish. This is real, real simple, great fun for the kids. Uh, March, April, May, really great months for it as this water temperature warms up in the back bays of Ocean City. And you can have a lot of fun, catch a bunch of fish when the conditions are right. What am I using? Canyon Reels Backwater 2000. Great reel, I've had this about three or four years. Uh, Don at Canyon Reels hooked us up with these and we have not had a problem with them. Absolutely love this reel for this back bay fishing. That is on a six foot custom JPR rod, spinning rod. Okay, got my son Ryan's name on it. And we are throwing today the thingamajig. All right, something we came up with um, uh, maybe a year and a half or so ago. This is a brand new color. This is the candy redhead salt and pepper tail with the chartreuse tip it also comes in green with two replacement shads it also comes in white with two replacement shads both of those heads glow in the dark and then brand new it'll be on the website probably tonight the red with the salt and pepper tail and the chartreuse tail and then obviously i don't even have to say this for you guys that know what's up the Roy Rig. It's a great place for the Roy Rig too. Uh, I'm using real light tackle today, so I'm going to go with this half ounce head on the thingamajig. Roy Rig is a little bit closer to an ounce, and that shad is about five inches, whereas the thingamajig is four inches. Fish have been hanging around in this like five to 12 feet of water or so. We're going to try and throw it as close as we can to the structure, catch a couple of fish, and have a little bit of fun. All right, before I start casting here, I want to mention one more thing to you. The connection to the braid, um, obviously very important because you don't want to be losing any fish. There's two ways you can do it. Uh, one of them very, very easy, and that is to use power swivels. I use these Spro power swivels all the time. That's a 50 pound swivel, and you can see how small that thing is. That is a really, really small swivel. It'll go through the guides, no problem on these spinning rods. But you can also do something that I've started doing recently for tog and rock fishing. And that's a double uni knot. You can see how thin that knot is. And that's gonna go through absolutely no problem. And it's also not gonna click. There's no metal to be clicking through here as you go through like there would be a swivel. So there's the double uni knot. Uh, you're interested in learning how to tie the double uni knot? Check out the description below where I show you how to get this braid to monofilament connection for tall rock fish and that sort of thing. I got about 24 inches of leader just in case I get on any structure like that. And then this thingamajig, that's gonna do the trick. Oh. There's one. 
Man, these little fish are fun. Yeah, baby. Right in the corner of the mouth there. A little 15 incher maybe. Beautiful striped bass. Yeah, there he is. Nice fish. That's a little bit better rockfish, man. Nice. There we go. Get out of there, buddy. Got him in a tough part. There we go. Beautiful fish. There we go. That's a little bit better size for up here by the Route 90 bridge. That fish is probably 23 maybe 24 whoa real fat from top to bottom see how healthy they are beautiful fish yes and they are loving this thingamajig that red-headed salt and pepper chartreuse tail that thingamajig is killing it There's another one, back-to-back -back cast. Back-to-back -back cast, nice. Little guy this time, nice fish, man. What a blast. Inhale that bad boy. Another beautiful fish. Check that out. These guys are up here super healthy. Feeding at the Route 90 bridge. Middle end of March. Little sea lice on this guy. Yeah. Yeah. There's another one. Wow. Next month, I'm getting a trolling motor from my buddies at Midshore Electronics. I cannot wait for that because in this situation, I'd basically find my spot where this wind is pushing me, throw it up in there and hit the spot lock feature, and then boop, you stay right there, man. You won't move. I won't have to be messing with this engine back and forth. But I'm making it work. Yeah, been having a blast with these things. Beautiful rockfish. And they're tearing this thing up now. I might have to put a new, new tail in here in a couple minutes. But there it is. That's the thingamajig. That's the fishing OC thingamajig. It's a new color. Um, the red head with the salt and pepper body. And they are tearing that thing up. All right, if you got to put one of these new shads on these things, uh, it's real simple to do. So what you're going to want to do is, that's the right side up, that's upside down. So the hook is going to be coming out of the top of the body. All right, there we go. Find the spot where I want the hook to come out. Mark that with my thumb and my forefinger. Go in the front of the shed. Push it all the way to the point where I want the hook to come out the top. Give it a little bend. Pop it through, being careful not to tear it. And then just press the body up against the head. That little holder should hold it on there pretty good. And then 
there you go ready for some more casting came back on it came back on it sometimes all it takes is a new shad man that other shad was pretty beat up so it wasn't swimming quite right um put a new shad on and the very first cast bam got one little guy here man this is so much fun this is the kind of thing i can't wait for ryan to not be so busy with school and the cross so i can come up here and have a good time catching some more of these rockfish man that little guy was hungry give me my bait bag brother there we go messed my shad up on one little teeny fish punk Had to switch it up, see if they were moving around, and sure enough, they were. Man, look at that, that's beautiful. That water is so clean. Come on up, Rocky. Yeah, brother. up another healthy one man that's beautiful look at that yes sir gotcha That's one of those little footballs, man. One of those little footballs. Tie around a little bit, brother. There we go. Another awesome rockfish. There he is. I've officially lost count. Booyah! Ocean City over there in the background. Man, I love where I live. Yes! They love this thing, I'm a jig. Uh -oh, don't ride tip him. Gotcha. That's another good one. Oh man, he inhaled that bad boy. I don't want to hurt you, buddy. Hold on. Let me get you. Hold on. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. You're bleeding. I don't want you to die. Chill out. Got him deep. All right, let's get this out of here. Not too bad. Not too bad. Got him in the gill. That's all. He's going to be all right. Watch this. Swim away nice and fast. Gone. Yeah. Ooh. 
That's money. Oh, I knew it. it was a good cast. Oh, I knew that was a good cast. What's up, little buddy? Thanks for proving I threw a good cast. <laughs> yeah. Look at that, man. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth. That's awesome. And there you go, that's my last fish of the day. <sighs> Had a blast up here at the Route 90 bridge, man. Heard it was okay, you know, a couple guys caught five, 10, that kind of thing. Um, nothing like this, man, this was this was pretty much nonstop. Caught one of my second cast, uh, and then it was pretty much on from then on. I'm gonna go ahead and leave on this fish. I got some stuff to do back at the house, but links to the, uh, links to the uni knot are below. Uh, links to how to buy thingamajigs are below as well. If you guys are liking what you're seeing, make sure you like, comment below if you have any questions. And as always, subscribe to the channel. We'll be bringing you this stuff pretty much all year long as much as we can. Lennox out.